أكد سعادة الشيخ عبد الله بن راشد آل خليفة سفير مملكة البحرين لدى الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية أن مكافحة التطرف وتعزيز التعايش السلمي نهج بحريني أصيل يقوده حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه بدعم ومتابعة من حكومة مملكة البحرين برئاسة صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله معربا في الوقت ذاته عن اعتزازه بالسير على خطى سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة ممثل جلالة الملك للأعمال الإنسانية وشؤون الشباب حيث أكد سموه خلال حضوره في لوس أنجلس إطلاق إعلان البحرين في سبتمبر 2017 على مبادرة جلالة الملك المفدى لتعزيز السلام بين الأمم والتعايش بين الشعوب من خلفيات ومعتقدات متنوعة وإشارة سموه إلى تركيز مملكة البحرين على تعزيز هذه الرؤية من خلال خلق بيئة مواتية للسلام وكان سعادة السفير يتحدث في عقاب التوقيع على اتفاق بين مملكة البحرين والمنظمة الدولية لمكافحة العنف والإدمان ضمن الجهود المبذولة لتطوير برنامج معا لمكافحة العنف والإدمان وتحديث مناهجه وفي إطار العمل على تعزيز التعاون الدولي المشترك حيث وقع الاتفاقية بناء على تكليف من معالي وزير الداخلية سعادة الشيخ عبد الله بن راشد آل خليفة سفير مملكة البحرين لدى الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية عضو مجلس إدارة المنظمة الدولية لمكافحة العنف والإدمان وعن المنظمة السيد فرانك باجيروس الرئيس التنفيذي تتعلق بتطبيق المنهج الجديد الذي يتضمن معلومات ومهارات عن التعايش السلمي ومكافحة التطرف ويقوم بتطبيقه منفذو برنامج معا في مدارس مملكة البحرين ومن المؤمل أن تسهم هذه الاتفاقية في تعزيز آليات الاستفادة من خبرات المنظمة الدولية لتطوير العديد من المجالات المتعلقة بالمناهج والبرامج التدريبية الحديثة وتطوير أداء عناصر الشرطة المنفذة للبرنامج وتعميمها على باقي الدول الأعضاء في المنظمة الدولية لمكافحة العنف والإدمان Thank you, Frank, for those. Kind words of recognition and friendship. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you. It is a great honor and a pleasure to be here today on behalf of the Kingdom of Bahrain to sign this impactful agreement. In fact, it is an especially great honor following in the footsteps of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, who was last in Los Angeles for the launching of the Bahrain Declaration in 2017, an initiative penned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, aiming to promote peace between nations and coexistence between peoples of diverse backgrounds and beliefs. For this today is a furtherance of that vision. As His Highness said then, our focus was to create, and I quote, an environment conducive to peace by empowering individuals and communities to feel comfortable in their own skins, end quote. No one is born with a tendency toward hate and intolerance. F the first thoughts that a baby has is not to castigate a fellow person. When we first see one another, we have no concept of acceptable religion or skin. I guess what I'm trying to get to is that violent extremists are created and fueled. They're made by actors purposefully that distort ideology and ambition in order to poison the vulnerable young minds of future generations. Therefore, we should all remember that it is not enough to counter violent extremist and intolerant behavior, but rather it is our call to diligently do what is essential to prevent it. And in order to prevent it, we must understand it intimately. What is extremism? Merely a zealot piousness to a specific political or religious belief? What forms do extremism take political extremism, 
religious extremism, social extremism. What makes it so appealing to the weak-minded? All of these questions identify critical components that must be acknowledged and, like a tumor on society, be treated with pinpoint precision and unrelenting completion. Bahrain has long been dedicated to doing just that, with a long and public history of promoting peace and prosperity through tolerance and coexistence. In fact, as His Majesty the King stated, and I quote, we will always foster the values of moderation, tolerance, and coexistence in both word and deed in the face of extremism and intolerance, end quote. The direct confronting and elimination of that extremism and intolerance serves as the very goal of Bahrain's national program, MAN. Our Minister of Interior, His Excellency General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa, launched the anti-violence and anti-addiction program in 2011, adopting the D.A.R.E. curriculum as a cornerstone. The minister aptly named the program MAN, the Arabic word meaning togetherness, to signify the importance of unity and cooperation between the police and students, as well as the communities, regardless of sect, color, or creed. This year, MAN celebrates a decade of dedicated service to the nation. The program fosters and solidifies the relationship between the police force and the community, putting into direct application the Minister of Interior's belief that, and I quote, the police are part of the community, not apart from the community, end quote. For as your own nation's newly elected President Joe Biden stated in his inaugural address last week, which I was fortunate enough to attend, and which was awesome, by the way. And I quote, without unity, there is no peace, only bitterness and fury, no progress, only exhausting outrage, no nation, only a state of chaos, end quote. And to that, I'm proud to say that the 10 years that man has been applied, the program has strengthened the relationship between the youth and law enforcement, and instilled the values of national identity focused on resorting to tolerance in resolving issues rather than violence. Today's signing will further assist our nation and all peoples in optimizing the curriculum of our shared values. In reviewing, optimizing, and evaluating our work, we will analyze and assess the impact, and in the end, provide a refined curriculum and best practices of application, ready to be adopted by like-minded nations throughout the world. For Bahrain holds not just its relationship with, with DARE in the highest regard, but also treats our role on the international stage for DARE with the most significant gravity. It is with that sense of gravity that I illustrate how the actions of today indelibly mark the role that the Kingdom of Bahrain has taken to become a leader in fighting extremism. This would not only have been possible, this would not have been possible without the continuous and valuable support and assistance of DARE and its experts, to whom I extend my sincere gratitude. From our chairman, Michelle Leinhardt, to our CEO, Frank Begaris, to Dr. Clayton, Dr. Warwick, and the rest of my fellow board members, thank you. And it is for this leadership role that we have taken on that I can assure you my nation's leadership does not see this signing as merely a formality or ceremonial act, but rather as a milestone. Kingdom of Bahrain reaffirms and recommits before you today to disarming these actors of insidious influence by meeting them on the field of intellect. With this union of our government and DARE in the United States, yet another affirmation of our nation's strong bilateral relationship, we will fortify the minds of our youth and cement the peace of the future. Thank you.